Transistor Characteristics Welcome to my tutorial on transistor. Please subscribe my channel for regular weekly videos. The transistor characteristics consists of many details in which you can understand basic needs of transistor that how it works basically. I can say this is a basic thing in which you can understand transistor operation properly and also the flow of transistor is mainly suggested in this article which you can see right below here. The slope of the graph and transfer characteristic is called graph of I slash IBE. Here characteristic graphs can be drawn to show the transistor parameters and are used with the performance of device and also shows the design of amplifiers. The graph of base emitter current IBE against VBE base emitter voltage which clearly shows basic input conductance of a transistor. The curve which used to determine the input resistance of transistor is nothing but the conductance which is the reciprocal of resistance. The particular curve which shows the steepness when the VBE is above 1 volt that shows the conductance is very high and here current largely increases for very small increase in VBE. Therefore the input resistance is kept low that is around 0.6 to 0.7 V curve shows that the input resistance of a transistor varies that is to the amount of base current flowing and below about 0.5 V base current drops out. Next figure shows output characteristics. It requires single phase clock with 33% duty cycle to provide internal timing. It requires plus 5 volts power supply. A 40 pin dual inline package. 80. The slope of this type of characteristics determines the value of the output conductance. The change in the graph lines shows the collector emitter voltage has almost no effect on collector current in this region. The effect just shows that the transistor output contains a large value resistor in series. So the output resistance of the transistor is high which is as shown in graph. The characteristic graphs shows that, for a silicon transistor with an input applied between base and emitter, and output taken between collector and emitter one would expect, low input resistance from the input characteristic, fairly high gain from the transfer characteristic, high output resistance from the output characteristic. The mutual conductance is seen in this type of characteristics. The illustration of collector current changes takes place for a given change in base emitter voltage. Here in this graph you can easily notice the linear relationship of input voltage and output current. The characteristics described are basically related to typical power transistor connected in the common emitter mode. So these are some of the basic types of transistor characteristics. In coming sessions I am going to explain about the transistors and various operations. Including the circuits and functions of the transistor so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for next updates. Thanks for liking the video. 
sharing is caring. Please share this video on your Facebook and Twitter profiles. Thank you. Meet you in next session 3.